In this day and age, it's impossible to be a good mom. Screw it. Let's yeah. be bad moms. Oh, I'm in. Right? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is exciting. I'm in. Yes to bad moms. Bad moms. moms. Oh. Mm. I love you guys. Mm. Oh, dude. We love you. Love we Kiki. just oh met Kiki. Kiki. Was a great scene from the movie Bad Mom, starring Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell, and Katherine Hahn. The sleeper hit comedy about motherhood in the modern age is happily getting a sequel to be released later this year. And here to tell us all about that, as well as other things, is actress Katherine Hahn. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Oh my me. gosh! As a mother myself, as soon as I saw the trailer to that film, I, I said, I cannot wait for this movie to come out. Like, finally, I, finally, someone our is telling movie. the truth. Yeah. <laughs> You're also a mom in real life, correct? I am. So how did you feel about that when you saw the script? Oh, I mean, any opportunity, I feel like, for, uh, you know, my girlfriends and I to just go out and just see something that we could just, that's that's not, was not soft around the edges. Right. It certainly was hard. It was, a, yeah, so proud to be a part of it. And so proud the ladies came out to see it. Uh, to skewer the cult of the perfect mom, yes. right? We hate those people. Yeah. <laughs> and now are those? the sequel. That is so awesome. I know. Are you working on it right now? We, or we, is it we start in, a, like, a, I think a couple months. And was, it's going to be around Christmas, which is which is like I think the most perfect time of the year, in we, uh, at least for me, that I think a mom needs to get out of the house. Absolutely. And, yeah. While can we're you, trying to make the magic happen, and you just want to, you know, can you give kill us yourself. any insight, or do you have to keep it all under wraps? I know nothing. I just you know, know it's Christmas. I just know it's Christmas, and I know our moms are going to be around. Yeah. Like not our real moms, our characters. Like you know. Fantastic. We yeah. cannot wait. Now, yeah. also, I Love Dick, your Amazon TV series, yes. is coming out very soon as well. Yes. Can you tell us about that? I Love Dick on Amazon uh, is created by Jill Soloway, who did Transparent as well. And she, it is a sexy love triangle between um, Kevin Bacon, who's our titular dick, <laughs> um, myself, and uh, my, the gentleman who plays my husband, Griffin Dunn. Right. It's re and it takes place in, a, um, in Marfa, Texas. So it's and like your character is obsessed with Kevin Bacon's character, correct? Obsessed. And she just in such an embarrassingly hilarious way. Like, um, she cannot. It's, you, she just, you just cringe, but it's, it's funny. <laughs> Which sounds fun to watch. Of yeah. course, you're working again, as you said, with Jill Soloway. Mm. You two have become quite a team lately. Yes. Do you enjoy working together? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> we, can't, we can't get away from each other. No, yeah, there's, I, I adore being in her world, for sure. And, of course, Transparent. Mm. Oh, so many awards, so many accolades mm. from that. What did you enjoy most about your role on that as an actress? Uh, for the, I played Rabbi Raquel. Oh, I think it was just her stillness and her just her moral compass. I so often play these, and I'm s grateful to play these kind of like unhinged, big, you know, big people. And it was really fun to play kind of the, the goodness at right, the center. Right. Right. Now yeah. it's it's true. I mean, I think a lot of wider audiences know you as this great, you know, comedic actress. But you're classically trained, mm -hmm. Yale School of Drama. Mm -hmm. Are there some uh, roles yes. from those days that you really miss and love? Oh, Tanya. I mean, Shakespeare. You, know, you know, when you're like a kid in school and you play like grandma on Grapes of Wrath. Yeah. I was always, I was never the ingenue. It was always like <laughs> Nurse Ratchet. <laughs> So you, Polonius. Got, so you got to play all of that in, yes. at, in drama school, Yes, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Are That's, you also a singer and a dancer, a triple threat? Any Broadway musicals in your future? I would say that I was a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's a little alcohol involved. Um, but, uh, yeah, I love singing. Yeah? I'm not, I don't know if it's good or not, but I do. I love singing. Would you ever want to do a Broadway musical? Yes. You would? Oh, that would be so fun. Oh, we would love to see Oh, my God, how fun would that be? <laughs> yes. Now, you're also working with Febreze. Tell us. About yes, that. it's you know I um, uh, I'm a mom obviously. Okay. Uh, they came to me with a campaign that is hilarious <laughs> and relatable, and uh, it's a series of uh, odor odes. There, it's like each one is like kind of a little poem, in which you just describe something that we love the most can still also stink. Right, that sounds, the most. That sounds yeah. great. So it's adorable, you know, your your kids, your dog, your marital bed. <laughs> right, right. And anywhere there may be yes. odors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So do you find that most people of all the roles that you've played, really the bad moms really resonates with a lot of your audience? For sure, that was like the, the, I think the biggest reaching yeah. so far, and I was I'm so buoyed and excited that it was a um, female centric movie, and I just you know 
whole, I just can't wait, and I'm so hoping that there are, that means there's just going to be more and more and more of them. Because obviously, it's not just like it, there's obviously a hunger for them and an audience. Right. Absolutely. So, so I hope people are li listening and watching t to that because there there obviously people show up for it. Well, we also love watching everything you do with Jill Soloway because we just that, we think the, the team, the two of you, is fantastic. Yeah, I don't know. We found each other. I, I could not be more more grateful. For sure. Yeah. I like the questions we're asking. What is the working relationship like? Is it a lot of give and take? Is she very sort of flexible as a director? Yeah, she is. Um, oh, yeah, no, she, she's, at this point, it's such a shorthand to Tanya. Like, um, but, and I think we trust each other, obviously, on such an intimate level right now. Mm -hmm. And um, it, there's no place that feels safer and that we really feel like we can fling ourselves into something that just might, you know, even if it doesn't work at first, we kind of try to... Um, it's a great relationship to have, yes. actress to And we, oh my gosh, and we also, like, because I've been able to, like, just see her brain grow and just watch the, watch what she's been able to, like, create and the confidence that she's getting, like, with every step, it's been a real honor. For sure. And we love watching you in it. Now we hear oh. that you are from New York, that you didn't, that you lived maybe not even too far from these studios. Well, I'm from originally Ohio, but it is for real that I did live in a walk-up in your Hell's struggling Kitchen. actress days? Yes. Do you miss those days at all? I miss it so much. Do you? Well, every time I'm here, I am always I always feel like I always feel like I'm like kind of looking into like the eyes of these like young girls on the street and I'm like, oh my God, that was me, that was me, that was me, that was I just it still it just goes by so crazy, crazy, stupid fast. How many years did you uh, did you live here in Hell's Kitchen? Gosh, it was like five or six years, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and then I was up at Yale and going, yeah. kind of going back and forth while my husband. And now you're in LA, highest. sunny LA. Oh my right? Or rainy LA right now, but usually, <laughs> usually sunny. Usually. Well, thank you so much for coming to see us. It's such a pleasure. Oh, to Tanya, with I can't you. wait. To, it was a pleasure to meet you. I can't wait for you to see all these ads, too. I really think they're clever. I can't believe I'm in a Super Bowl ad. That that. That's a real <laughs> crossing that off of a list. That's guys. a real bucket list yes. thing to cross off. I yeah. think so, too. <laughs> Catherine Hahn, thank you so much. Thank you.